a late summer hailstorm in Denver, Colorado. Another city, another hotel room for gymnastics reigning national champion, Blaine Wilson. Blaine's had a lot of meets this year, over 30. And he's had a lot of pressure situations, the Olympics, and, um, you know, went through the college season. And so I think he looks good. I got a broken neck now. Between you and me, I mean, he is over there talking to himself way too much. Coach Peter Corman may be right. Those men in suits behind Blaine are gymnastics judges. Wilson seems oblivious to it all. I think Blaine's key thing is he has to keep himself in that zone of comfort, which for Blaine is just being very aggressive. Boxers and rock stars have dressing rooms. Blaine Wilson has a hallway. So the national championship for men's gymnastics on the line here in Denver, Colorado at McNichols Arena. Hi, everyone. I'm Dan Hicks along with Tim Daggett. And no doubt about it, Tim, the man to beat is Blaine Wilson as he has in his sights his second straight national championship. Well, he looks nearly unstoppable, Dan. It is definitely Blaine Wilson's competition to win or lose here today. In the preliminaries, Wilson destroyed the competition. But he also showed that anyone is vulnerable. Just ask four-time national champion John Roethlisberger. Or emerging star Jason Gatson. Blaine Wilson's first day of work is complete, but it's the second day which holds his fate. That's coming up next. With the rugged Rockies of scenic Colorado as the backdrop, the city of Denver welcomes the country's best gymnasts. I'm Dan Hicks with Tim Daggett and Beth Ruiak. We're at McNichols Arena for the 1997 U.S. Gymnastics Championships presented by John Hancock. This is the second and final day of the competition, which will decide this year's national champion. And it was no surprise the 23-year-old Blaine Wilson was the most impressive after the first day. Half of the scoring totals from the prelims carried over into this final round and getting some last words of advice from his coach, Peter Corman. And there is John Roethlisberger, who knows what it's like to defend. Roethlisberger has won four national championships. But Blaine Wilson beginning the first of six rotations on the parallel bars. And you know, Dan, this is a very improved exercise for Blaine Wilson. He has very difficult skills and two different combinations that are both worth five-tenths of a point bonus. First one happens right here. Those two skills together, five-tenths of a point. And he'll do it again right here. Another combination worth another five-tenths of a point. That is gigantic in men's gymnastics. Blaine actually looks a lot more calm on this event and a great landing, wow. And a great start for Blaine Wilson. That was a better routine. Yeah, really smooth, great double back. Well, I think it was a better routine as well and because of elements and combinations like this right here, this is the second skill in that combination. A giant double back. Didn't that feel good? <laughs> really good to tell. He doesn't just do the element really as well. He also it, uh, does it very back. smoothly, which is difficult. Let's go, Jay. Spin this way. The stretch to one could have been a little You heard Blaine Wilson. Let's get on to the next event. Jeez, Successful see. on the P bars the with a solid score. Good job, Blaine. That was the toughest one, first one. 
Here is a young face you probably have not seen. 17-year-old Jason Gatson, who is in second place right behind Blaine Wilson after the first day of competition. And Tim, I know you saw this kid about seven years ago, and when you first saw him, you knew he was something very special. About seven years ago at a tiny invitational in Los Angeles, California. Saw this guy on floor exercise. Never seen a young man so powerful, so strong. And he has just burst onto the senior level. This is his first senior national championships. And you know, that first routine is a very important one and still rings, very stable event. His major combination right here, this is tricky, nails that handstand. Good solid routine for Jason Gatson, just to dismount right here. Very nicely done, good start for Gatson. He may be 17, but he is very, very confident. We talked to him before the meet, asked him if he was nervous, and he says, not really. Yeah. He is a tough individual, deals with pressure very well. A combination right into the dismount, and he just rocks the landing. Great start for Gatson. Brings a smile to his face on that solid dismount. Tim, that score may seem low, but actually it's not. You no, know, actually with the new rules, Dan, it's a, it's a very good score on still range. Well, there's 27-year-old John Roethlisberger probably still thinking about his terrible start to these championships. The first day of competition and his very first rotation fell not once, but three times in the floor exercise. Very uncharacteristic. I have never seen it completely fall apart for John Roethlisberger like it did in the first day of competition. Nothing went well at all. And there were two gigantic errors. He's totally lost in the air right here. Landing on his side, these are gigantic deductions. He scored a 7-1 on that routine. After that, gathered himself and worked himself back into fourth place as he begins again on the floor exercise in day two. It was a remarkable comeback in the first day of competition. And you know, John, He's a very proud athlete as well. It would have been very easy for him to just come into this meet and not do those tricky things. In warm-ups, he struggled again on those tumbling passes. Let's see if he chooses to do that. No, he is going with an easier routine. He took a couple elements out in that first tumbling run. Changing the routine will cost him a few tenths in potential bonus. But of course, you don't get anything when you make major errors like he did the first day. Smart decision so far. He struggled here the first night. One and a half twists, no problems today. Somewhat ironic that when John won his very first national championship, it was uh, staged right here in the city of Denver back in 1990. Only the dismounting remaining for John. Full twisting, double somersault, very difficult. Nicely done. Roethlisberger seemed to really relish the challenge of climbing out of the hole he dug himself. On opening night, Blaine Wilson stretching out. He'll be on the high bar next. And it really is a rare relationship. John's father, Fred, has been his coach. And Fred continues to coach at the University of Minnesota, where John graduated. And you know, Fred told me that he always kept a distance from John in the gym, but just recently, he's let himself be a little bit more of a friend, a little bit more of a father. The son, Roethlisberger, is currently in fourth place after one rotation. Blaine Wilson continues to lead.